Our greatest comfort in sorrow is knowing that God is with us. Welcome to today's encouragement. Today's reading titled, Everywhere and Nowhere, was written by Dave Brannan. He wrote, A family friend who, like us, lost a teenager in a car accident, wrote a tribute to her daughter, Lindsay, in the local paper. One of the most powerful images in her essay was this. After mentioning the many pictures and remembrances of Lindsay she had put around their house, she wrote, She is everywhere, but nowhere. Although our daughters still smiled back at us from their photos, the spirited personalities that lit up those smiles are nowhere to be found. They are everywhere, in our hearts, in our thoughts, in all those photos, but nowhere. But Scripture tells us that in Christ, Lindsay and Melissa are not really nowhere. They are in Jesus' presence, with the Lord. They are with the one who, in a sense, is nowhere but everywhere. After all, we don't see God in a physical form. We certainly don't have smiling pictures of Him on our mantle. In fact, if you look around your house, you may think He's nowhere. But just the opposite is true. He is everywhere. Wherever we go on this earth, God is there. He is there to guide strengthen and comfort us. We cannot go where He's not. We don't see Him, but He's everywhere. In each trial we face, that's incredibly good news. Today's devotional scripture reading is found in the book of Psalm, chapter 139, verses 7 through 12. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me, your right hand will hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will hide me, and the light become night around me, even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day, for darkness is its light to you.